The main purpose of the Sightings Network is to provide people with the opportunity to share their observations of things that they see on the Great Barrier Reef. It can be things from marine mammals, marine turtles, sharks and rays, invertebrates, fishes. And not only can they share it with the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, they can share it with the global community as well. The Sightings Program is our most easy, accessible program for people to get involved in the Great Barrier Reef. It simply is a smartphone application which you can download and anyone, anywhere, at any time can record stuff that they see. One of the challenges we have is that Great Barrier Reef is so big. So if you're trying to get information on animals that uh, you see infrequently or that are hard to identify, one of the challenges is how do you get that across the great range of the Great Barrier Reef. The key strength of sightings is the breadth of coverage. People out on a boat, people snorkelling, diving, yachties, fishermen, anyone out on the reef has the ability to record important observational sightings. The sighting program contributes to our understanding of marine animals, particularly because it allows us to understand what animals live in what location and how often do we see them and when do we see them. So if we use an example like humpback whales, they only come to the Great Barrier Reef between the months of May and about October. So when they start turning up, people start recording the sightings and when they go home, people also record the sightings. One of the species that we virtually get no information on is a whale called the say whale. It's a large filter feeding whale related to the blue whale. Now we've had two sighting reports of say whales, only two, both of them taken off tourism vessels. You know when you have an animal that's probably very rare and quite cryptic, actually having people out there as our eyes and ears taking photographs and then sending them in for us to identify is a fantastic way for us to expand our information base. The main strength of the app is that it's accessible to anyone. It's free to download and it contains so much information about over 200 species. You can just be out there on a boat and see something really cool. Take a photo of it, upload it, submit it, and you're sharing it with so many people. And it provides the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority with extended information about what is occurring on the Great Barrier Reef. 